Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Reagan Says This Morning. I'm your host, Reagan Adams, with All Things Reagan. So I'm actually just getting off the road, and I said, let me, while I'm still sitting in my car, <laughs> go ahead and do this video real quick. So thank you for joining me. Uh, today's topic, and I'm sorry I'm popping on this gum. <laughs> today's topic is how to be or how not to be, how to be unbothered by those family members and your friends and things of that nature or your quote unquote friends or foes is what we're gonna call them. So I was having a conversation with somebody last weekend who have, has been having problems with their family members. And what happened is they're like really you know close relatives. And the problem was the person couldn't, let me see I can say this, the person couldn't understand why the family member was treating them so poorly like they grew up together they're close or were close uh, but just could not understand why they were treating them poorly and so what happened is the person went to like their pastor and some other people and it kind of explained the problem and so what they were saying is in their spirit they felt like um, the family member was jealous and oftentimes you find this and not and i guess some people have a problem because they're like well that's my family that's my blood you know they would never not like me they would never you know treat me poorly sometimes you know you can't look at them being family for them not to for you to say oh they're not going to treat me this way or oh they're not going to um act a certain way to me and oh they could never be jealous of me listen people are people at the end of the day and sometimes you never uh, what my friend says a lot of the time every mind is a world so people believe and think differently all the time and just because they're your family members just because they may oops, they may have been raised with you doesn't change the fact that they may think different um sometimes people hold a lot of stuff in so maybe you know if it's a sister or a brother or you know somebody you were raised with maybe they thought you got better treatment than uh they got so essentially they could be holding on to a grudge that you never knew they had and all these years that thing just builds up and builds up and what appears uh to them that you're doing better than them you know, they're still holding on to whatever happened back in the past when actually they had the same opportunity that you had to get to where you are. Um, and they could be jealous. So, you know, sometimes people feel bad, like, man, that's my family. I got to love them. I got to, you know, I got to treat them right. I got to do X, Y, and Z. Yes, you do have to be, you know, cordial, be nice or whatever. But if you have a toxic family member or a toxic, and we'll talk about friends in a second. Um, well, actually, it's the same thing with friends. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you have a toxic family member, listen, I don't advise you to stay around. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I And I've said this many times before. I don't fool with a lot of my family on my daddy's side. I'm not going to do it. I remember um, I got into it with an aunt of mine. And she was bringing up something about my cousin. Like, you don't even reach out to your cousin. You don't even, you know, do X, Y, and Z for your cousin. Why? Would, and I told her, why would I do that? Like, why am I getting ready to deal with him for what? He's not. And not to say that I'm thinking that I'm better than him or better than anybody. But why am I going to associate myself with him when I know from way back in the day, he he's been, like, jealous. And not because he didn't have the same opportunities that I had, not with his mother, but he did um, with my dad. My dad offered to take, you know, help with him, but he didn't want it. So you have the same opportunities that I had. You didn't choose them. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, when I see you, I'm going to always be cordial. I'm going to always be nice, but I'm not getting ready to break my back to go hang out with you and you're not doing nothing. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, especially when you think nothing's wrong. Sometimes you can't deal, and my friend and I were just talking about that. Sometimes you can't deal with people who don't think anything is wrong with them. Like, they know it all. You can't tell them nothing. And that's that type of person. That's the type of person he is. He got it together. Ain't nothing I can say. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you right where it is because 
you know, we all have faults. We all have to dig in our background and say, okay, what's wrong with me? What is it that I need to change about myself, right? We should, but everybody doesn't do that. So for me, I'm not going to go out of my way to be in somebody's life who automatically thinks, I think I'm better than them or I'm better than other people. And I've had people say that to me. And my aunt even said it. Like, you've always thought you were this. You are, you always thought you were that. If I don't think it, who else is going to think it? And not that I think I'm better than anybody else, but I know, you know, I have something valuable to offer people, to offer the world. I know I do. But I don't go around here. You know, I always have a humble slice of pie. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not walking around here with my head up. But everybody is somebody god made us all like dope like super dope so when you find out who you are like so i'm just wanting to let you know today don't let family members take you down through there don't feel like you have to be obligated to be attached to your family member just because they're blood or whatever i know i don't same thing with friends. You need to make sure that you monitor the people that are around you, your friendships. Um, that's why my circle is so close. Like, I've spoken about this a million times before. Um, you know, I always want to have friends around me who have my best interests at heart. In interests at heart. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Um, and not be jealous. You know, um, I'm in the point of my or time in my career that I'm starting to do a little bit more here and there. And so whoever is around me is going to have to adjust and adapt to that. They can't be jealous if I'm going somewhere and I'm moving and I'm shaking and I'm talking and I'm meeting different people, which essentially will continue to happen. You have to be able to adjust to that and not get, you know, um, not nervous, get jealous if I don't maybe not mention your name or something like that, because, you know, because I know with me, I'm always like, go, 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 go. So sometimes I may not be like, hey, this is such and such. You know, I may forget to, you know, introduce you, not on purpose, but it just happens. Uh, kind of like the ice cream thing, but not on purpose. But you got to have people that are secure around you. Like, I don't want any insecure people around me. I just don't. Now, yes, we do all have insecurities. I'm not saying that, but I'm talking about in friendships, relationships, people that you want around you. You want people that, you know, um, encourage you and, and got, you know, really has your back. Don't feel like you're obligated, especially if you have a friend that you were friend. And I have those friends that I had been friends with for years and years and years. And you get older and your paths change. I just had this conversation with a friend of mine. You get older and your paths change. You can't always have that same conversation. I don't want to be attached to anybody talking about the same stuff we did 20 years ago. What are we talking about now? What, what, what new things are we talking about? What money can we get? What programs can we help with? What, you know, what can help us with our better cost of living, like quality of living? Those are the friends that I want, right? Um, so that's the real quick video today. That was really quick. Don't feel obligated to stick around people who are not lifting you up and that are toxic uh, just to say, I'm down or I'm, I haven't changed. You should be changing. That's a word for somebody. You should be changing. Nobody should be the same as they were even last year. We should all be changing and evolving into better people, right? And the people that I want around me, I want them to also change. And I want them to also be growing so we can grow together and learn different stuff, right? Get out of those toxic relationships. To toxic relationships, excuse me especially if it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend listen you don't want to attach yourself to anybody for the rest of your life and i'm talking about people who are considering marriage i don't deal in the marriages but considering marriage and dating see what their head is uh see what they you know their outlook is on life what do they want out of life um do they want to grow do they you know how do they look at finances how do they look at rearing children those type of things those are the things you want stable you know mentally stable i was just having a conversation with a friend of mine a minute ago about you know um what was he telling me something about um not you know not having erratic behavior or throwing tantrums or you know things of that nature you want somebody who's emotionally stable um because sometimes we just aren't 
<laughs> so, and we just kind of impulsively act and we can't do that as adults. So we were just talking about that. So same thing in relationships and we're all evolving and we're all learning. So, um, that's basically it. So I'm going to hop off here and unload my car and unpack wash clothes and repack because i'm going to another destination this weekend <laughs> so anyway you guys thank you for joining me for uh all things reagan uh well reagan says i'm sorry all things reagan is my business uh if you have any questions or concerns uh feel free to inbox me you can also check my website out allthingsreagan.com um let's see i think that's it my jamaica trip is sold out but i do have over I don't, I've lost count. I'm going to say 81. That was the last time I counted, counted. Uh, but I do have more people who are on the waiting list for putting me first. Um, the people who are already in the group, the exclusive group that have paid their initial deposit, just know that your second deposit is due on the 15th. If you do not pay that deposit, um, you'll need to, um, you'll be booted out of the way and we're going to open up the, uh, the wait list because we do have women who want to go and we don't want to like hold up spots for people who really, really want to go. And I know, I'm not saying you don't want to go, but I know sometimes money can be an issue and things happen and bills and things of that nature. So not saying that at all, but those are the rules. I thank everybody who has paid their, um, their dues and everything thus far so anyway if you have any questions concerning the trip just let me know and i'll be free and willing to answer those allthingsreagan.com talk to you guys later have a blessed peaceful and prosperous week bye